Okay, Sagittarius. The overall energy of this reading is the Three of Pentacles. You know, this is a black card. So this is like not being able to work with somebody, not seeing eye to eye, you know, no meeting of the minds. It's something like that. So um, let me read on and find out why this card surrounds your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, the world. This is a new life cycle. So you're entering a new life cycle. And this is right next to the tower card. Tower cards right above the Three of Pentacles. Look, both black cards. There's been a tower moment here. This tower moment, for some reason, well, let me read on. I'm not quite sure if you are entering a new life cycle or this new life cycle was kind of blown, blown up. I'm not sure. We have the Nine of Wands here. And this is in your highest energy, this line. The Nine of Wands is feeling worn out. You feel like drugged through the mud? Hmm. It's over this tower moment, looking right at it. You know, I feel like this tower moment, I feel like you lived in this tower moment for a while. And it had to do with butting heads with somebody. It had to do with seeing things differently than somebody else. And I think you kind of lived in it and you, you focused on this tower moment for a long time. And I think you're getting over it. And I think you're moving forward from into a new life cycle. I think you're going to get it behind you. Under the world card is the high priestess. Yeah, the high priestess. Now it's next to this three of pentacles too, the overall energy. And it's under the world card. This is the card in the tarot deck about intuition and knowing. So if you pull back that pomegranate curtain... And you take a look at your own thoughts, your own feelings. Uh, listen to your intuition. Put your heart, head, and gut all together. And follow your intuition. Um, I think your intuition told you that this would not work out. Because it's right next to the Three of Pentacles. Uh, this is, as you see, and, and you look in that card, they're having a conversation here. And I think uh, it was through this conversation that um, you really felt like it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, turn out the way you would like it to, even though you knew it was something you had to do, because this life cycle has been waiting for you here. You have to move into this life cycle. Your intuition is pushing you. You know that. So you needed to bring up whatever it was that you had to bring up. You had to experience this tower moment in order to move into this new life cycle here. On the other side of the Three of Pentacles is the Justice card. This is the card for Libra. Libra might be strong in your chart, might be strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But, um, you know, this tower moment, you're kind of worn out. I think you, this is like a relationship, or this is that you have with somebody. I don't know if they were a lover or not. It was just somebody that you needed to move into this, this new life cycle here. But this feeling of looking back at it and trying to figure it out and holding it next to you, like, you're, you're not going to anymore. You're going to move forward. You have rebalanced. You've got your scales balanced. And you have your sword up. So you're, it's like a lesson learned, and it's something that you do, will not repeat. Uh, but you are going to move forward from it. Under the High Priestess, is the Eight of Swords. This is like, you're, you're feeling bound in this relationship. This is a card of illusion, but it doesn't, you know, take away from the fact that you were feeling bound. You could, could walk out of it, and that's, I think, exactly what you did by um, using your intuition. And I think it was this conversation here that was going on in the Three of Pentacles um, that actually allowed this relationship to, to fall apart so you can move forward. Um, you needed, you were feeling trapped here. See, the feet aren't bound, the mouth isn't bound. And I think you took advantage of um, all this truth. Remember, I says, I think you, you got the truth and the clarity from this, whatever this relationship is. I don't necessarily see it's a love relationship. It can be, but you needed to free yourself from it. And you did. You found a way to do that so you could enter your new life cycle. So next to the Eight of Swords is the Ace of Cups. This is a giant cup of love. 
I think this was a love relationship because it's right under the, the Three of Pentacles. I think you were willing to hand out, you were having feelings of love and you didn't think they were and I think you were right and I think you followed your intuition, got to the bottom of it so that you could move forward and find someone who, who can exchange a giant cup of love. Next to the Ace of Cups is the Strength card. Wow. So again, you know, we have the, the card for intuition here. And we have the strength card. This is the card for Leo, by, by the way. So someone may have Leo strong in their chart someplace. The infinity symbol, the symbol of knowing, and the symbol of intuition. You knew what you had to do. It took a lot of strength to dig down and do it, but you did it. So that's what this card is about. It's doing what you know you need to do. And it takes strength. It's nothing easy. But you had that conversation. You knew the relationship would blow up. You knew, knew you needed to free yourself from it. And this, and you figured it out on how to just get it done. You know, pull out the strength. You're becoming balanced, rebalanced. Your sword is up. And you're moving into that new life cycle. Now, let's see what the second half has to say. My goodness. Okay. Up here in your highest energy. Okay. So you spent a lot of time focusing on that um, relationship. Um, just feeling beat up, drug out. You know, it really took a lot out of you. kind of drained you. Um, this is a feeling of being like uh, left out in the cold or rejected. Um, you know, it has to do with, I don't think that they had the same amount of feelings for you that, that you had for them. And I think that's what you had to get out in the open. So it was not easy. You knew you'd feel this way, but you knew you had to do it. It's right next to the Page of Swords. So, you know, you also know you can't stay in that energy there. You know you need to balance yourself again from this relationship, which you are doing in this reading. And I think you're going to keep a closer watch out over who else comes into your life because... There is a new life cycle coming in for you. You created it yourself. You know, you knew you had to move forward. You knew it, and you did it. It was hard. Um, but the Page of Swords is like, you're just kind of on guard. You don't want to be in this position again of having to alienate somebody else or be alienated, okay? But look, on the back side of the Page of Swords, we have the Lovers. Wow. This is the card for Gemini. Gemini might be strong in your chart, might be strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But the lovers, this is a divine soulmate connection. I think this is coming in. This is divine. This was not. I don't even see that they were a soulmate. But we do have a divine soulmate relationship coming in. A person who is a divine soulmate. Now, let's see if it turns into a relationship. Yeah, I think it will. Eventually, I think this is the beginnings in April. Okay, probably by the end of April. Um, there's somebody on the horizon here for you. I think this is what you feel. I think this is your intuition telling you you had to free yourself from this relationship so that another one, the right one, a divine one, soulmate relationship could come in, even though you really didn't know that's why. You're, you just knew you had to. Okay, so under this five of pentacles is the will of fortune this is the universe they uh are pulling you forward for the for the better for the fortune from this five of pentacles you are moving forward here sagittarius and it's all because this knight of cups comes in it's one of the lovers here the knight of cups this is a sincere love offer coming in Wow. It's right next to the hermit. This is this hermit is right between the lovers and the knight of cups. This is a card for Virgo. So Virgo might be strong in your chart, might be strong in somebody else's chart. But more importantly, it's about, you know, seeking advice from the universe about your path forward. Well, have no fear because your path forward is coming in. And the hermit is shining the lantern right on this knight of cups, male or female. It's coming in. It's right below this divine soulmate. So have no fear. Your new path is on the way. The will of fortune is bringing it in. So under the will of fortune, it's also bringing in happiness, a new beginning. 
There's lots of joy in this card. This is a beautiful card, the sun. So the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in something beautiful for you. This Four of Pentacles, you're going to be in this relationship for a very long time. Once it develops into a relationship, it's like once this divine soulmate comes in, it's like you're the one on both sides. You're it. You're it. And you both decide to stay in it. And there's a lot of security. There's a lot of groundedness associated with this Knight of Cups coming in. Like I said, male or female. The Magician is right next to the Four of Pentacles right under the Hermit card. You've actually manifested this, and I think you manifested this from blowing up this other relationship. At least putting it on the path of blowing up. You did something that you knew had to happen. Infinity symbol again. Intuition, knowing. You've manifested all these things to come into your life. The, the love, the security, the stability, the new beginning, and the truth, the truthfulness of this relationship. This is a divine soulmate relationship coming in. Uh, might even be a twin flame with the lover's card sometimes. But um, boy, by letting this relationship go, you are opening a door to let the, uh, the soulmate in that is supposed to be part of your life here. This new beginning, this new cycle coming in for your better.